Modaka. Hey there, everybody. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with a war track here. Um, basically, what this video is is um, if you're anything like me and uh, you like a little bit of uh, uh, when you're playing the game, you like to show results and stuff like that. So, I mean, everybody, you know, vehicle damage, you just turn them over and stuff like that. Um, but where possible, you know, if you have a weapon destroyed, you remove the weapon. Um, so, what I'm going to uh, show you today is not a war track. Uh, that'll be another video for another time. But, is our orc battle wagon. Now for this one we're not doing a uh, weapon destroyed, we're doing the vehicle immobilized. Um, now I could have just left everything on there like this and whatever and just used markers but I didn't want to do that because I do have the opportunity here um, and I had originally thought of just not gluing these on because um, they do stay on pretty well but I figured over time things would probably get uh, broken and, and, and such so instead of going that method what I've done um, and I did it up on this side is I just magnetized it with three magnets got a small one here then two medium sized magnets here and then obviously on the track did the same thing with uh, the two mediums and then the small one up here and uh, that's what I'm going to show you um, how to do today so what you're going to need for this is some magnets. Small ones I'm using are 1 16th of an inch uh, diameter by uh, 1 32nd of an inch uh, height or width and the medium sized ones uh, are a diameter of a 1 8th of an inch um, with a width or a height of a 1 16th of an inch. For your pin drill, a regular hand drill or in my case I'm going to be using a, a rotary tool or you know a dremel. Need some super glue, green stuff I need some kind of tools to remove the uh, plastics and such. This is a specialty pliers here, but you can use any of your regular um, diagonal or, or straight edge uh, pliers or even just a hobby knife. Without further ado, let's uh, get to it. <laughs> All right, here we go. First step is obviously to remove this. And what we're going to be doing is snipping off these plastic bits. Again, you know what, using uh, your straight uh, edge pliers is probably better for doing that. I couldn't find any, so I'm going at it the old school method. Just want to make sure they're all cleaned up and nicely flush. The nice thing about this kit is the plastic is uh, pretty soft. So it's uh, even with a semi dull blade like the one I'm using here, um, it cuts through pretty well. Though I do suggest uh, a nice sharp blade. Um, to avoid, uh, well, not to avoid, but to uh, lessen the likelihood of uh, knife mishaps. <laughs> been blocking the view on this the entire time. Okay, so here we have it. Nice flush uh, cuts on each one. And then uh, what you do from that is you gotta drill them out. So, here's where it gets noisy. And the 
plastic does get melted uh, from the speed of the bit, so it is hot. I'm just going to check the depth here. And that should do nicely. So now we're going to glue the magnets in. Now I want to keep the polarities the same as uh, this side. Um, so to do that, basically attach them <laughs> like so. And that's how you know which side has to go in there. Crazy glue. Now I'm only using a, um, a gel crazy glue. Um, the benefit of this is it doesn't run everywhere, so where you put it down, it's thick. Um, and for stuff like this, I uh, particularly uh, really uh, like that feature of it. Mix up some uh, green stuff, because I'm probably going to need some. Okay, so now I have some green stuff mixed up. It's, I mean, this is more than I'm going to need. Um, I really only need a small amount in the bottom of... Uh, each uh, well. Um, so basically we'll start off um, by putting the crazy glue inside the wells. And then taking a small amount, very 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 tiny amount here, green stuff, throw that in there. Some more crazy glue onto the green stuff. I haven't really done anything with it now. Again, this is probably more than uh, I'm gonna need. The uh, double check the polarities. Always double check. You know, measure twice, cut once. Well, it's a similar type thing with magnets. All right, I have a toothpick, and what I'm gonna use it for is I'm gonna take a little bit of green stuff here. Take the green stuff and put it on the end there. And just take the magnet and you stick it on the end. That's so why you don't have to worry about getting any uh, crazy glue on you. So then you just take the uh, magnet and stick it inside here. And then I'll grab another toothpick. Just gonna press this down inside, make it nice and flush. Now, it's got to be flush. You got to make sure that it's straight up and down with the plastic. And next, we get another magnet. Get our little toothpick dealy. Now we repeat the same actions with the small magnets wherever I've put them. Now when I was putting the uh, other side together, this was the one that was a little bit tricky because they're so small, they have a tendency to, to flip when you're not uh, paying attention. And uh, I got the polarity wrong. Just in case you're unsure, you know, in your head, you don't know if you got everything right, grab the uh, one that you already magnetized and just test it. If it sticks, you did it right. That stuck. That stuck. And that technically stuck, but the small one doesn't have a lot of pull. So these are done. And as you can see, I'll give you a close-up here so you can get a look at them. Alright, so now we'll move on to magnetizing the tread. Okay, now this portion is a little bit more difficult to um, uh, magnetize. The holes are all slightly different. The small one goes right through. We're going to drill right through that. Throw crazy glue in there, again some green stuff at the back, and when we push it through, hopefully the green stuff will create a backing that the uh, piece will go on to. This one's deeper than this one. Um, this one we actually have to drill. A magnet sits above the lip, so we gotta get it further down. Now this one, it sits below it, so we just need to pack this with some green stuff. I'll get to uh, drilling these out 
and uh, we'll go from there. That one's quick. So let's do this one and this one um, while my green stuff is still good, and then I'll move on to the uh, harder one. I don't know if anybody else, does anybody else do this? Like, am I the only one who magnetizes the treads on their battle wagons? I don't know that I've ever seen this before, so. Similar to how we check polarity on the other one, grab the uh, your magnets, throw them onto your... Uh, other one, that way you know which direction they have to go in. Grab your trusty green stuff toothpick and then just put it in there. I'm gonna get it nice and flat. Now, this one we gotta push the green stuff down, it's in there to uh, create kind of a platform. So switched up my uh, bit and we're gonna drill into this portion here basically follow the same steps we always have gonna clean it up uh, the bit I'm throwing on here is a um, one of the diamond uh, grinding type bits that they have the cylinder uh, on the end as well so I'm just gonna be using it to help basically sand down smooth things out just happens to be conveniently the same size so let's get that done Okay, yeah, as you can see on this, the magnet goes well below, well below where it needs to go. So back to our green stuff, what's left over, I may actually use all of it this time. Anybody else do this, you know, like use a paper towel to clean this stuff out? I always find myself putting too much glue. Before I put any glue on it, I probably should have pressed the uh, magnet in. Just sort of like a dry fit on it because this green stuff is uh, drying out so it's not as soft um, as when it started. So keep that in mind. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, not flush. So I'm working on getting rid of any of the green stuff that's been uh, pushed out. Now, luckily, this is some pretty thick plastic here, so me pushing on it, uh, not too worried about breaking it. I will uh, work on fixing this up and then uh, show you the end result. Alrighty then, I uh, clean this up and everything seems to be perfect. So I'll take a look here. Everything's nice and flush. Nothing sticking out. And hopefully I got the polarities right and this will go on properly. So here we go. Perfect. Much better than the first time I did that. So here we go. Let's put on both of them. Alright. So there you go, that's magnetizing the tracks on there. Just a word to end it, if I was going to do anything differently, I would probably magnetize all three of these, because it would be a lot stronger. I might even go to the point of doing all the pegs, but I mean that's just a lot of magnets for thing, but depends on how strong you want to make it. 
But there you go. Until next time, this is more DACA 101.